You want to say anything, Pee Wee? There's nothing more I can say. I told him everything at the trial. I'm no murderer. The evidence was against you, son. The last time the ranger was seen alive, he was starting off to jail with you. Then he was found laying alongside of the trail, shot to death. But I didn't shoot him. How could I? I was handcuffed. You didn't have any on when they picked you up again. Who took them off you? Jeff Marshall, maybe? Or one of his gang? Jeff Marshall had nothing to do with killing that ranger. I don't know who did. That shot was fired from ambush. But I can tell you that it wasn't Marshall or anyone that rides with him. Well, if that's so, then there couldn't be much harm in your telling us where him and his men are hiding out. I might be able to get you a stay of execution. Maybe a new trial. And have him send Jeff up on circumstantial evidence? I know you're out to hang him. When the worst he's ever done was to help poor folks who ain't got no law to protect him west of the Pecos. Of course, you wouldn't understand that. All right, it's your neck. Any luck? No use, Sunset. He won't open up. He's determined to go to the gallows with his lips sealed tight. Let me have a try at him. You'll just be wasting your breath. He wouldn't talk to me. He won't to a ranger. He might. To a horse thief. He's never seen me before. Slip on a pair of those cuffs and dump me in his stomach. Well, it's worth a try. Figured you might like to have somebody to talk to. Of course, a horse thief isn't much company, but he's better than nothing. Howdy, Sheriff. I'm Pee Wee's Paul. And this is his baby sister. Glad to know you. What can I do for you? Well, Sheriff, we come here to ask a big favor of you. What is it? If it's all right, I'd like to take my son's body back home and give it a Christian burial. Well, I don't see any harm in that. Save us the trouble of planning him. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you very much. You know, I wouldn't be in here now. I wasn't fool enough to take the rap for another fellow. Being grand and noble doesn't pay. You only wind up at the end of a rope. What happened? Somebody shot him through this window, Sheriff. Brother. Oh, my poor brother. <laughs> oh, he's killed. Pa, he's killed. <laughs> The fella got to his horse ahead of me. Is he hurt bad? Dead or not, I'm sure. Never knew what hit him. <laughs> well, if it had to be, I reckon it's better this way. <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff. You got a kind heart. Thank you again, Sheriff. Get up. Looks like that Marshall gang wanted to make sure Pee Wee wouldn't talk. What's so doggone funny? I'll tell you while we follow that wagon. Can we use those horses over there? Sure. Things look pretty safe now, Dakota. Look 
pretty spry for a corpse. Maybe, but I died 50 times while a boss thief was making up his mind to call me Demise. We have a lot to thank him for. He kept the sheriff from taking too close a look at you. You figure he did it on purpose? Pretty sure of it. Feel a whole lot better when I get these choppers in. Get him. <laughs> Looks like we're being trailed. Get going, Dakota. We're being followed. chasing an empty wagon. Yeah, so I see. Smart little girl, Pee-wee's baby sister. She thinks fast and grows up fast. Tell me, son Zed, how did you get wise to him? I just noticed a six gun about a foot long underneath baby sister's cape. I noticed the prisoner was breathing plenty heavy for a dead pigeon. Too bad we had to lose him. It's my fault, Sheriff. But I figured nabbing the whole marshal gang would be more important than stretching one neck. And now we've even lost that neck. I'll catch up with him. The governor gave me orders to start pushing law west of the Pecos. And here's where I start pushing. Going back to town to get my horse. interested in that 3,000 bucks. You're too late. Jeff Marshall's out of circulation. Maybe you'd be interested in 5,000. All right, boys, get to hunting. Hey, who is this Ann? Jeff Marshall's kid, and a hundred times worse than her dad ever was. We figured our troubles were over when we got rid of the old man. That daughter of his stepped into his boots and she's been blasting things whiter than ever. That's why Matt Conroy raised the ante. Matt Conroy? Stranger, huh? Yep. Go on in and you'll meet him. Baby sister. What did you say? Oh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. It's a habit of mine. Conroy, us ranchers are right up against a wall. 
We can't even begin to exist on the prices you're paying us for our cattle. Even their hides are worth more. I know that, gentlemen. Believe me, I do. But put yourself in my place. I'm taking all the risk. And every time I start a trail herd to market, it's a ten to one gamble. It'll never get through. Thanks to that Marshall girl and her gang. I can't understand it. Understand what? Oh, Jeff Marshall suddenly turning bad. When he was buying our cattle, he seemed perfectly willing to give us a fair price. We got along and all made a good living. I wonder what changed him. I've also wondered. I liked Jeff Marshall and considered him a friendly competitor. Then out of the clear sky, he organized an outlaw band and started raiding us. It could have been greed that does strange things to people. But whatever it was, that daughter of his certainly isn't laying down on the job. To tell you the truth, if it wasn't for the generous support of my two banker friends here, I'd be out of the cattle buying business by now. I'd like to make a suggestion that's welcome. Speak right up, stranger. We need it. Why don't you go out and eliminate your troubles instead of standing around talking about them? That's easier said than done, young fellow. I suppose you've noticed those posters of mine. Yep. The reward money is mighty tempting. Yes, but rotting in my office safe. Seems that everybody expects Ann Marshall to walk in here and give herself up. Mr. Conroy! Mr. Conroy! What happened, Sam? That Marshall girl and her gang jumped us again. They stampeded the herd and winged Jack. Did you save anything? No, you can't dodge bullets and chase cattle at the same time. Now perhaps you realize what I'm up against. If I didn't want to say that Matt Conroy was run out of business by a girl, I'd chuck everything right now and close up my affairs. Come upstairs, I'll fix that arm. Nothing at all, boss. We fooled that Marshall outfit completely. Got the herd through without the loss of a single steer. That's what I like to hear. Did you get top prices? Sure, they snapped them up like they was flapjacks. Boss, that act you put on for those ranchers was perfect. You almost had me weeping. <laughs> Why don't you curl the boys and do a little celebrating on me? You deserve it. Thanks, boss. What's the matter, gentlemen? You ought to be feeling pretty good. The returns from that cattle drive represent almost 90% on our investment. As bankers, you should appreciate that. Oh, I know, man. We do appreciate it, but... Uh... Why? We just had another of those threatening notes from the Marshall girl. Oh, is that all? Well, you're in good company. She also sent me another one of her love notes. Came in through that window, tied to the rock, and almost brained me. I can't stand any more of her hounding. I wish you'd give me a bullet and have it over with. Oh, now, don't talk like that, Frank. Get a hold of yourself. Uh, buck up, Frank. We'll soon be rid of that girl. I'll keep upping the reward until even one of her own men will double-cross her. Here, down this. Gentlemen, this is a good business, and a very profitable one. But Welsh's won't fit in. I didn't think it would lead to this, to murder. You can't always call your shots. Don't forget, you and your brother were willing to come in with me when your penny ante bank was about to cave in. He'll be all right, Matt. And hang on to your nerve. I don't want you to start blabbing your head off. No, no, Matt, I wouldn't do that. See you in the morning. I'll lock the door after you. Step back in the room. And be careful. The baby's sister. You know, Conroy, it was nice of you to market the cattle for us. 
save my men and I the trouble of raiding the herd you practically stole from the ranchers. What are you talking about? That money belt. Get it. Toss it over. You know, I've really just started with you three. You'll wish you never existed before I'm through with you. Because you're gonna suffer just like my father did before you framed and then murdered him. Why don't you get it over with? Now, that would be too easy. If we were going to shoot you, we could have done that a long time ago. You see, I know how much you like money. And I'm gonna strip you of everything you own before I call a showdown. The murder and Marshal and the men will pay for Ed. Don't stand there. Get your horses. We've either got to wipe them out or it means our finish. Bring her in. I'll double the reward. plenty worried. You kept fading in and out. That bullet knocked you kind of silly. That must have or else I'm dreaming. How'd you happen to be around? Just between you and I. I was speaking in the window at Conroy's office when things broke loose. How'd you find my camp? I didn't. It was your horse. I just let him have his head and he brought us here. Take it easy. You made some coffee. It'll do you good. Well, she got here all right. There's her horse. Yeah, but who does that white coast belong to? We'll soon find out. What happened, Miss Ann? Bullet creased me. I'm all right now. Hey, you sure had us worried. Uh, who owns that white horse outside? It's mine. The horse thief. The same. Howdy, gents. Some more coffee in there if you want it. Thanks. Hey, if I ain't asking too much, just how do you come to be popping around here, Mr... How about, uh, Mr. Alias the Kid? Seems to me that Mr. Johnny on the spot it fits you better. You sure get around. Unfortunately, always at the right time. If it wasn't for Mr. Johnny on the spot, I wouldn't be here. Come to think of it, me neither. I reckon I'm beholden to you for helping me escape the gallows. We all should form a mutual benefit society. When the sheriff got suspicious about something, went off chasing a wagon with his deputy, he forgot to lock the cell door. And that was his deputy riding with him? Who else? Oh, nobody. We'll go out and put up our horses, Miss Ann. Be back after the coffee. 
Oh, Miss Ann, here's the money belt. All right, put it on the table. If you're hungry, just speak up. I'm a pretty good cook. Thanks, I, I think this coffee's enough. It was enough. Here, I'll get you some more. Be we. If I wasn't a teetotal, I'd swear I was seeing things when I walked in the room and saw that hombre. Me too, Dakota. You seem to be interested in that money belt. Yes, more ways than one. And I was just thinking, I'm in the wrong business. Stealing horses doesn't hold a candle to this. Well, don't get any wrong ideas. That money's going back where it belongs. To the ranchers, Conroy's cheating and robbing with his starvation cattle prices. Oh, a lady Robin Hood. Taking from the rich to give to the poor. That's part of it. And the other part? Keeping a promise I made to my father. Wasn't any trouble until Mac Conroy and his gunman came here. Then suddenly the raid started. But in spite of this, my father kept buying cattle and paying fair prices for them as long as he could. Then when he realized he was going broke and up against a losing battle, he fought back to protect himself and his friends. Until Conroy's gunman murdered him. But according to the talk in town, Conroy's injured person. He's smart. He's covered himself with a pack of lies. Why didn't you appeal to the law in the first place? The law. My father did appeal to the rangers. But from what I understand, they did send out a ranger. And one of your men murdered him. Another Conroy lie. Well, she got back. Well, we're glad to hear that. But we're in a new mess. During the shooting, Frank Pearson got it in the back in there, blaming us. Did any of you boys do it? Oh, you know better than that, Miss Ann. You always told us never to do any killing. Sounds like some more of Conroy's doings. I'm awfully glad you decided to go back and give yourself up. After all, it's, it's your first offense, and I'm sure they let you off with a light sentence. Well, what do we do, let him go? The horse won't let us stop him. I know what I'm going to do when he rides out of here. I'm going to trade it along with him, make sure he crosses the pickets and don't head back to town. Well, good luck, Mr. Johnny, on the spot. Thanks. Somehow I got a feeling our trails are going to cross again sometime. You think so? Mm hmm. I'm almost sure of it. business down the trail, and I figured you wouldn't mind if I'd ride along a ways with you. I'd keep you from getting lost. Much obliged. Well, this is Blue Rock Ridge. Now all you got to do is to follow the road to the cannon bottom and ride down it. It'll lead you right to the Pecos. You ought to be out of danger then, huh? Well, it usually is, but you see that clump of rocks over to the left? Yep. Well, that's where the ranger was bringing in Pee Wee when he got shot. He said whoever done the shooting was hit off in those rocks off to the right. They didn't find any clues? Well, it ain't safe to go to looking for clues around these parts. Whoever left them might be there ahead of you. Well, I just got time to make camp before sundown. Good luck. Much obliged.
the matter, Ed? Is the Marshal girl bothering you? No. No, it's Frank. Of course, I know he was weak, but I babied him ever since we were kids. Well, I don't understand. What? Well, I don't see how any of the Marshal gang could have shot him in the back. They were riding away from him and almost clear of the town when he went down. Who else could have done it? He had no enemies. You wouldn't happen to know. I? Well, you wanted to get rid of him. You know you did. You were afraid he'd talk. Why, no, you... No, no. Wait, wait a I, I, I didn't mean that. I... My nerves got the best of me. I... I'm sorry, Ed. But you shouldn't say things like that. Because my nerves are on edge, too. Here, have a drink and forget it. Hey, that's the fellow that got away with that Marshall girl. All right, mister, keep walking. Right over to Conroy's office. That's just where I was headed. Thanks for the escort. Look what we brought you, boss. He rode into town big as life, said he wanted to see you. That's right, Conroy. Well, young fella, you're either very foolish or you must have a good reason for showing your face around here. I think I have. Or perhaps we've finally caught the spy that's been giving the Marshall gang the jump on us. When you talk like that, Conroy, you're the one that's being foolish. I think enough of the idea to put a bullet through your heart. You do? Then pull that trigger, Conroy, and lose any chances of ever getting your hands on that Marshall girl. What's stopping you? Want me to tell you? Because that Marshall girl's got you scared, and he'd give you a right eye to get your hands on her. Isn't that right? What's the use of pretending? Of course that's right. Do you know where she is? Stay out of this and keep your mouth shut. If you come in here to talk business concerning the Marshall girl, why did you help her get away? That's easy. A little matter of $5,000. But you nabbed her last night. Why didn't you turn her in then? If I had him, those pet hounds of yours would have tried to have horned in. I don't like splitting rewards. That's a fair answer. I see you've got a good mind for business. In more ways than one. I think you'll find it out before we call it quits. <laughs> well... I'll have to admit, you've got me over a barrel. This is the first good laugh I've had on myself in a long time. I enjoy it. <laughs> have a drink? Not during business hours. Does uh, this man liquor belong to you? Yes, why? Always wanted to own one of these ever since I was a kid. How about throwing it in for good measure? Well, I, I don't know. I think a lot of that gun. I'll wager it's the only one of its kind west of the Pecos. Is that so? That makes me even more anxious to get my hands on it. Perhaps I'll be in more of a giving mood when you show up at the ranch with that girl. Well, see you later. Oh, and just to remind you, if you have any ideas about having me followed, I'd advise you to forget them. Even when I was a kid, they told me I could smell rabbits a mile away. Say, boss, that fellow thinks of everything. <laughs> he reads your mind.
howdy. Where is everybody? Well, Pee Wee and Bucks and I are looking for Dakota. Oh, I see. Why'd you come back? Lose your nerve and couldn't go through with it? Nope. Just didn't want to run out on baby sister. Here's that all. Please, lady. In a minute, you're going to make me blush. Now, look. Will you get serious and answer my questions? All right. All right. Now, why'd you come back? See those two shells? One of them's been fired and the other's still loaded. They both came from the same gun. Well, what's that going to help you prove? That the Conroy outfit murdered that ranger. The gun happens to belong to Matt Conroy. Conroy's gun? Well, where is it? Where I can lay my hands on it. Oh. That still leaves Frank Pearson. And I'm blamed for that, too. I'm working on that. I've got some ideas. Some good ideas. Tell me, was uh, Frank Pearson the kind of fellow to get excited and start talking out of turn? Well, if you mean the kind that didn't have very much sand, you're right. That helps my ideas a lot. Well, what good is all this evidence going to do you? A lot of good, if you get it into the hands of the Rangers. How? Deliver it in person. Are you suggesting I give myself up? That's why I came back. in time, he hasn't got away with her yet. I'll make a bargain with you. I'll go, if you go with me. I wouldn't think of leaving without you. Suppose we get started. You're not going any place. Dakota, please don't interfere. I've decided to give myself up. To Matt Conroy? Matt Conroy? Yeah, that's where that double-crossing horse thief was taking you, Miss Ann. So it was you that started the fireworks in town. Yes, and I'm finishing the job right now. Now, get your hands up. Dakota, stop. Now, what's the meaning of this? It means that this skunk sold out to Conroy. I saw him coming from his office. I figured that reward money was too much of a temptation for him, so I trailed him when he left here. Is that true? No. He's lying, Miss Ann. And we're just wasting time. I'm going to perforate his mangy carcass. Before he does, would you mind reaching in my pocket, taking out that wallet you'll find there? Open it. Take that letter out and read it. But this says you're a Texas Ranger. Then I had you pegged right all along. But you'll have me pegged plenty wrong if you don't believe I'm on your side. Now do you understand why I've been doing all this detective work? And why I advise you to give yourself up? Not by a jug full. Dakota, the law is coming west of the Pecos, and nothing can stop it. I have evidence that will help clear all of you, but it means acting at once. I want to get Ann out of this part of the country, so I can start working on Matt Conroy. No go, Miss Ann. You're not giving yourself up. Don't forget the deal the law handed me. It was all set to stretch my neck and ask questions later. They'll only give you the same medicine. Pee-wee's right. Why, I must have been out of my mind to listen to you. Well, Miss Ann, I guess the next move's up to you. It'd be easy to give me a bullet, but that wouldn't help or change things any. They'd only send in more rangers and keep sending them in. Come on, ranger, while we figure out what we're gonna do with you. We got you on our hands, and we don't know just how to get shed of you. That's easy. Just turn me loose. I wish we could, but it's either your neck or ours. Yep, that's right. Well, there's, there's only one thing for us to do. We're going to have to shoot him. Well, don't look at me. I, I never even shot a sick horse. Me neither. Well, maybe we can rig up something quick and painless. Like what? Well, like uh, pushing him over a cliff or something. I'd rather stop a bullet. Why don't you three draw straws and see who'll do the honor? See, that's a dead blame good idea. Now, whoever gets the short one gets the honor. Go.
Get up. I'll just loop this around you boys tight enough to keep you busy so Miss Ann and I can get started. How did you get loose? Where are my men? Suppose we talk about you. Ready to start traveling? I'm not going with you. I'm afraid you'll have to. You'll never get out of this camp. You know, doing this reminds me of when I was a kid. My dad used to wail the tar out of me and tell me it was for my own good. And I'd thank him for it later. Well, come on. I said I'm not going with you. Believe me, Miss Ann. There are times when you're being a ranger is a tough job. Don't shoot. You might hit Miss Ann. The boys work faster than I figured. Come on. Now that isn't fair. This way. So you lied again, turning me over to Matt Conroy. You're wrong. I came here to get that rifle I was telling you about. I don't suppose I could trust you to stay here and wait for me. What do you think? Well, then there's only one thing left for me to do, since I can't take you with me. Believe me, Miss Ann. I'd rather be a sheep herder right now than a ranger. Shabby trick. Not where you're concerned. I suppose you've even arrested babies in arms. You got me there, baby sister. I wouldn't scream for help if I were you. It'd only bring Conroy's men, and that'd be quick suicide. See what I see? Well, if I didn't see it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. Playing a game, Miss Marshall? Yeah, with a $5,000 stake. I'm just on my way over to see you. I didn't intend to make delivery until you lived up to your part of the bargain. I see. Cash on delivery, huh? Yep. I figured it'd be good business to reach out for the reward with one hand while making delivery with the other. How about unlocking those things? We'll take her over to the house. Give him a rifle, Sam. Where'd you get those bracelets? Tuck them off for a ranger. They won't be needing them anymore. Aren't you proud of yourself? This way, as if you didn't know. Looks familiar to you, huh? Welcome to your old home, Miss Marshall. 
Rest assured, I'll do everything I can to take good care of you. The way you took care of my father? You know, you can't go on forever. Someday somebody's going to take care of you. And you, too. The lady seems a bit upset. Perhaps she'd like to retire to her room. See, you didn't forget about my rifle. No, I'm very pleased the way things turned out, and it's yours. Go out and tell one of the boys to keep an eye on the bedroom windows. She might get ideas. But you're disappointed about one thing. I don't know what about. I'm very pleased, thanks to you. Just the same. I have a hunch you wanted me to bring her in toes up. <laughs> you do read people's minds, don't you? But that'll be taken care of. Well, Matt, you can't do that. Do what? Kill that girl. Well, what she said is true. Sooner or later... That's enough. enough. You're beginning to talk just like your brother did, and I don't like it. I've handled affairs pretty well so far without any advice from you, and you haven't lost by it, have you? I wish to heaven I'd have kept out of it. Oh, Deb, your nerves are all shot. Why don't you go back to the bank and play with your ledgers? Let me handle this end of it, huh? Uh, better hitch up the buggy. We're going to need all the saddle horses. Make yourself at home. I'll be back in a minute. Give Ed Pearson a message for me. He's going out to the barn. Sure, boss. What do you want me to tell him? Tell him that he and I are dissolving partnership. The way you've done it with his brother? Permanently? That's right. Permanently. The way you act, you seem to think more of that gun than you do the reward money. Yep. You have no idea how much it means to me. Guess I'm like a kid with a new toy it's wanted all of its life. But I'm not forgetting about that 5,000 bucks. When do I get it? As soon as we get back to town. I didn't know you were such a fast worker. I brought it with me. That suits me. In the meantime, I think I'll give my horse a little rub down. He's had some pretty tough going. Sure, go right ahead, being you're not a drinking man. needing that horse, Pearson. Turn around. It won't be so painful. I suppose Matt Conroy told you to give it to me in the back. Like my brother got it. That's a good guess, Pearson. Even if it is the last one you will ever make. Here, I read this. It'll save a lot of time and words. Well, I'm glad, Ranger. Glad it's all over with. Before I go with you, I'm going to get Conroy. That happens to be my job. I'll take care of him. But right now, I need your help. It might make it easier for you. What do you want me to do? Conroy's got too many men for me to handle alone. I think you'll run into Ann Marshall's men up in those rocks near the river. Bring them on the run. Oh, they wouldn't believe me. They'd think it was a trap. Take my horse and my credentials. Also, tell them that Johnny on the spot sent you. Better go out this way. It's okay, boys. Go on back. There's nothing to worry about. Boss, I just passed Ed Pearson. Ed down Pearson? Road. Yeah, and he sure acted funny. When the moment he saw me, he rode away like a scared jackrabbit. And what's more, he was riding that stranger's white horse. That shot. Be ready for anything. Look out, boss! He's a ranger! Ah! 
down here. tricks anymore. Now the last got the evidence that will hang Conroy and put you in the clear. But it won't do us any good unless we get out here alive. You've got to trust me. This is on the level. until Ed Pearson finds your men. But suppose they don't believe him. Let's hope that they will. Get around the side of the house and plug him through the window. See if you can find some more shells for this rack. Finish the job. Looks like we'll lose any way we figure. Might as well make it as tough for him as we can. Break it down. like a dream. I, I never thought it'd come true. I reckon it feels pretty good to be getting the old ranch back. It'd be complete if Dad were here. Well, I'll send Dakota back as soon as I get into town. Well, I was thinking... What? Well, Dakota might get lonesome on that return journey alone. Yes, that's right. Suppose I keep him company. 
I'll be expecting you. All right, boys. Baby sister. <laughs>